Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another video in this QuickBooks Online tutorial series. In the previous few videos, I've shown you how to add customers to QuickBooks Online, how to view their accounts, how to edit their accounts and raise sales invoices. It's all very straightforward, I think. But if you really need support, then feel free to contact me. My details are available on my website www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com. So all you need to do is go to the left here, click on invoicing. You'll see under the invoices tab, we have some invoices now listed. We have invoice 101, 102. Both of these were raised in the previous video. I've actually just raised another 1003. So invoices are starting to show now on the invoice subpage. On the customer subpage, we have these two customers that we added. Let's just say we want to credit an invoice for SM accounting. Let's say we want to credit 1001. It was raised in error. It's for £99, £82.50 plus VAT. So that's the invoice. How do we raise the credit note? Well, it's very straightforward. It's very much the same as raising an invoice. Just go to the top right here, click on new transaction. Instead of invoice, let's click on credit note. You'll see we have the same template appear as for an invoice, but this time it's credit note. We have a credit note date instead of an invoice date. And at the top here, it says credit note. So let's just add the information here. So description, we can put credit of invoice 1001 which was five hours, I believe, at £16.50, which is £82.50, and it was 20% VAT, which gives us our £99. Don't focus too much on the numbers I've put in. I've just remembered what the figures were from invoice 1001. What you need to remember really is how to fill in the credit note and how to access it. So I've put in the sales, I've put in the description, uh, the applicable amount, the appropriate amount. When that's all done, I can save and send it to the customer. I can print it off. I can download it just like I did with the invoice. And when I'm happy, I can click save and close. Now you'll see that this credit note is appearing on their account now. We had three invoices, 1001, 1002, 1003. Now we have a credit note, 1004. And because QuickBooks Online is very clever software, it's actually already allocated it to invoice 1001. It might not allocate it automatically. If it doesn't, it's not a problem. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. Just carry on with this tutorial. But you'll see it's been allocated. And then there's a payment here, which just means that this allocation has gone through. So we have this invoice marked as paid because the credit note has been allocated to it. And then we have these two open invoices. So that's how you raise a credit note, just the same as an invoice. So we have new transaction invoice, fill out the details for an invoice, for a credit note, new transaction, credit note, fill out the details on the credit note. It's all very straightforward. But like I said, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to contact me. My details are available on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Dot com.